Hey guys, and welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's video, oh. Hey guys, and welcome to today's YouTube video. So today's YouTube video is going to be all about the fitness clothing brands that I wear. Um, and I'm going to show you some of the outfits that I've got at the moment. Um, I haven't bought anything specifically for this video. Um, they are all outfits that I've got here. And also outfits that um, are currently not in the wash basket. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I will show you each item. I will tell you the company that I got it from. Um, I'm also going to include like a price range of what I paid for it. Um, just to give you guys an idea of what I wear and what I would recommend um, because you can get some clothing that is, you know, you can spend a good £20-£30 on a pair of leggings but they are see-through or they go baggy really quickly. Um, I've experienced that over the years so um, I know which brands to go for as opposed to maybe other ones. Um, obviously I don't want to come on here and just slay companies but um, yeah, I'm going to give you my, my four top ones anyway that I would recommend their products are real good quality. Um, so yeah, I hope you find today's YouTube video helpful. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you like today's video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. So the first outfit that you saw me wear was my Lulu Le Mans. So we've got the pink bra and we've also got the black shorts. Now these shorts are very, very short. Now I got these for the photo shoot that I did a few weeks ago. Um, but the quality of Lulu Le Mans, like you don't get it anywhere else. Like it's, it really is like top of the market. It's really, really good. Um, I usually go for their Align shorts or their Align pants, but they also do um, some other ones which are called Free and Run, and they're really good quality too. Um, so yeah, Lulu Le Mans is one that I would really recommend. Um, the quality of their products are really good. It does come with a higher price bracket, so I think these shorts were between 40 and 50 pounds, um, and I think the bra is something similar as well. And um, their leggings are between like 80 pounds to like 150 for some. Um, so they are slightly more expensive, but you really are paying for good quality. Their leggings will last you years. I've still got pairs now that last me years. Only thing I would recommend is if you are a shorter person um, to make sure that you get the seven eights and not the full length ones. Um, I've made that mistake a few times and, and the bottom bit where your ankle is on the leggings starts to go baggy. Um, so yeah, if you are shorter, make sure that you um, go for their seven eights over their full length ones. Outfit number two was Sweaty Betty. So, we have the Sweaty Betty leggings. Now, these are the power leggings, which are really good. Um, they're great quality. They're warm, but they're stretchy. And they also have a pocket, which is really good to put like your phone in. Now, I did actually match that with a Lulu bra, um, just because I didn't pack my Sweaty Betty one. So, yes, so ignore the bra, even though the bra is from Lulu's. Uh, but we do have the Sweaty Betty pants. I love their logo. Uh, Sweaty Betty, again, the quality, you are paying for good quality. These leggings, I think I've had over a year, probably even two years. And I mean, I've 
probably wear them like once or twice a week so you can imagine how many times I've worn them and they're still fine there's nothing wrong with them um probably paid about 80 pound I want to say for these but I will check and add the and, and let you guys know uh, but like I say the quality of Sweaty Betty is really really good so I would recommend them uh, their power leggings fit really good um, and yeah they're nice and warm so yeah Sweaty Betty get the thumbs up Outfit number three was our bombshell sportswear. So we had the teal colours, which I just think it's such a lovely colour. Really, really nice. So this is actually the first outfit that I've ordered from bombshell sportswear. They are based in the US, um, but delivery time was like three days, I think. It was pretty quick. Um, and you know what, I just love it. Like, it's so soft, really, really soft. Um, and I love this colour as well. So I did go for a matching set with this. Uh, these also have pockets in them. Um, and they also have a scrunch bun. And the front of them as well is like a crisscross. So it goes lower down on your, your tummy bit, which um, is quite flattering on the abs. So... Yes, they're very, very nice for that. Um, bombshell sportswear, um, so because they are US, um, it's in dollars. So this outfit in total was like $140, I'd like to say. Um, but I'm pretty sure delivery was included with that as well. Um, and yeah, so again, they are slightly on the pricier side. But I mean, the quality of them is, they're so, so soft. Um, and I think they look really nice as well. I think they're, they're pretty, they fit really well. Um, so yeah, I would recommend Bombshell Sportswear. However, I think I need to um, invest in some more. Um, so yeah, when I do get some more, I will show you guys. So we had the pink sports bra and we had the pink shorts. So I got the, this set a couple of months ago and I've probably worn it um, maybe around five, around five times. And they don't seem to have really lost much of their um, condition. Um, and yeah, they're quite cute. They fit well. Um, and they are on the lower end of the price range, which is good. So for this set, I genuinely think for the, the bra and the shorts, I paid like 20 to 30 pounds. Like, yeah, they are cheap. Um, like I say, I've worn this set probably around five times and the condition is starting to wear a little bit, um, but, not massively, and I mean, you know, it's it's like 25% of the price that you can pay for, like, other brands. So I think that, yeah, Be Able is, is definitely a nice one to wear. They do lovely sets as well, um, lots of colour, um, and they're always bringing out new stuff. So I would check them out. Uh, this is the seamless set, so um, seamless shorts, seamless bra, um, and also it's got, I can't remember what this is called now. It's not tie-dye, uh, it's like faded, but yeah, they're kind of cute. Um, so yeah, I would 
recommend the Able. Um, they fit really good. today's YouTube video helpful um, they are my four top fitness clothing brands that I tend to stick to when I'm buying clothing um, three of the brands are at the higher end of the price range however they really are quality brands and when you're wearing um, when you're wearing these items a number of times per week and you're wearing them quite a lot, I think investing in quality is always better um, than investing in lots of cheap stuff that falls apart. Imagine. Imagine if I was like demonstrating a squat to a client and like my leggings split. Like, <gasps> no thank you. Um, so yeah, but like I say, Be Able is... Um, slightly cheaper but the quality is there and the colours are amazing on their side. So I'll add the links to all of the brands in the captions below so make sure that you do check them out um, and if you do invest in any of, um, any of their products let me know in the comments below or send me a nice little selfie in your new gym wear, um, I'd love to see that and yeah I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Um, and I will catch up with you guys soon.